Good afternoon, Tsuji of Mori Building. So let me start. Creating Tokyo, the city with magnetic power is the title. First of all, I'm glad to be here. At this forum, and uh, our company is supporting this as well. Love Tokyo is the theme of the 10th anniversary. <laughs> We really thought of various themes. This is our 10th year, and we thought that. Although this is very simple, since we are in Tokyo, we decided that Love Tokyo should be the theme. Various uh, campaigns underway back in April of this year. La Giraffe, a French uh, event was brought. Uh, we had lots of uh, red giraffes going through the slope. And uh, Love 10, the Jeff Koons Sacred Heart exhibition. So let me show you a two-minute video that we used at our party celebrating a 10th anniversary. Uh, we wrapped the city model, scale model. So please take a look. So that was a visual that we put together because we want to indicate that we are seriously working on city and we felt that the city life should be enjoyable, attracting a lot of people. We call it a city with magnetic power. And so we have various campaigns underway to celebrate the 10th anniversary. And uh, this is the newspaper advertisement uh, that uh, we issued on the New Year's Day, declaring uh, that we want to make Tokyo the best city in the world. For a private company to place 
an advertisement about making Tokyo the best city in the world, not the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. Uh, the intent behind uh, was that we wanted to work together with everyone to make Tokyo more attractive. As Professor Ichikawa said, amongst many cities in the world, how do we become a winner in this competition, I think will be a major challenge. More rebuilding. The former president, the late Minoru Mori, has been saying for over 20 years uh, that uh, we are living in the time of uh, competition amongst global cities, not global countries. And as uh, Professor Mori indicated, uh, we uh, have uh, been supporting the GPCI, Global Power City Index, uh, by our think tank, the Mori Memorial Foundation. I'm not going to go into the details of uh, this index ranking, uh, but uh, this is a comprehensive attractiveness ranking. There are many facets of uh, the cities, and we felt that the comprehensive attractiveness is important. Uh, the total sum of uh, various facets. So we are looking at both the strengths and weaknesses. What kind of uh, city are we creating? I'd like to use an example of Rokongi Hills. We are calling it creating a city and nurturing a city uh, as a, a concept uh, or as the basic uh, building blocks. Uh, we need to develop the concept as the, the guiding policy and then break down into development and town management. By development, we mean the hardware aspect, and by town management, we're talking about the software aspect. And we believe that the overlapping portion is crucial. And this is uh, a schematic representation of uh, what we are trying to create here at Ropungi Hills, what we call the vertical garden city. have a green area park on the ground level, have high-rise buildings on top of that, and have uh, the underground floors, basement floors, including the subway systems. So many functions are all included, and they are in a compact area. We believe that that kind of strength is needed in the cities in the future. And uh, Roppongi Hills is a very typical representation of what we are trying to aim at. Site area, 112 hectares, total floor area of 761,000 square meters. And this is the before and after of this area. On the right-hand side, Roppongi Hills, you are familiar with this. On the left-hand side, this is before the redevelopment, uh, 12, 13 years ago. On the lower side, you can see two smaller pictures. Uh, the one on the right, uh, this is the Keiakizaka uh, Street before it was uh, changed into the current form. This was a redevelopment project, and we believe uh, that a redevelopment would be very important to strengthen Tokyo as a global city. Uh, we had uh, invited uh, international architects and designers for the development of Roppongi Hills. Uh, we have a multi-purpose uh, complex here comprising of uh, different types of uh, buildings, uh, including office buildings, uh, cinema, etc., shopping areas, restaurants. And uh, one characteristic uh, is uh, Mori Arts Center, where we're having this forum today. Uh, we believe that these uh, cultural, artistic, uh, facilities should be located at the very center, the top floors, to make this a symbol of the community. 
because we felt that this really symbolizes our aspiration. Many types of information is to be communicated from here, and we thought that was a very important feature of a city. Safety and security is another aspect that we are really stressing. We have our own electricity or power generation capabilities. Uh, we have gas turbines uh, at uh, in our basement with which we are generating power. And the roof of each building has green area uh, to be more environmentally friendly. On the upper right-hand side, you can see a picture of the rice paddy on top of Rupungi Hills building. And here you can see the public artwork and street furniture examples. You can see many of them around different parts of Rupungi Hills. And uh, we have many performance uh, events. Uh, this is the fruits event, strange fruits event, uh, held uh, back in 2008 to surprise everyone and to inspire and excite everyone. And here's the rice planting and harvesting on the rooftop. The picture on the bottom shows me planting the rice uh, seedlings, and this is Tai Chi, and this is the summer festival, Bon Festival dance party, and this is the Halloween parade. These are just some of the examples. And starting tomorrow, uh, this year's Tokyo International Film Festival will open, and uh, this is uh, one of the major events held here annually, and this is Christmas illumination, and this is Okihiki. Uh, the uh, ceremonial sacred log uh, tugging in relation to the rebuilding of the Ise Shrine. And this is Rapungi Art Night. This is around uh, 3 a.m. Uh, one uh, exciting uh, performance that we had. We believe these things are necessary for a city to be exciting and inspiring. And we believe uh, that uh, city has to have comprehensive power. And we want to uh, enhance its strength and resolve the weaknesses to make Tokyo a to have a magnetic power. And in terms of um, economic development, we need to really revitalize the city, the community. And for the urban development, we need to create cities and nurture cities. Uh, usually, people focus uh, development until it is completed. But we feel that nurturing afterwards are necessary as well. And for that, you have to have a solid concept and vision based on which we are to work on the development and creation and nurturing of the cities. And from here on, I'd like to focus on Tokyo, what we can do to make it the best city in the world. Where are we in Tokyo today to make it even more attractive? Uh, this is uh, what the Tokyo Metropolitan Government is uh, advocating, uh, creating uh, the Tokyo's special zone to make this area, the most business-friendly metropolis. Uh, this is part of the national government's uh, plan uh, to designate Tokyo's special zones. Uh, Professor Takenaka is involved in this project. The international uh, strategic or uh, the national strategic special zones uh, are being promoted today. And uh, Murray Building are making various proposals to make this a reality. Uh, there are five zones uh, designated under Tokyo's so special zone, Morunouchi, Nihonbashi, Shibuya, five zones altogether, uh, where the Asian headquarters are to be located. Uh, that is the basic idea here, proposed by us. And uh, so this is what we are proposing, the Mori Buildings proposal. Tokyo is a big area. Uh, there are uh, three or five uh, central Tokyo wards. 
uh, and uh, this covers a wide area. And what f functions are to be performed by each is something that we need to think about. As for uh, the area that uh, Mori Building is working on, we are really concentrating in Minato Ward or Minato City where Rapunga Hills and Arc Hills are located, and we are currently developing the Toranamon Hills area as well. We have many projects currently underway, and uh, in these areas, we are making the proposals uh, for the Tokyo's new global city uh, center, the special zone. Four arrows are to be realized in these areas so that we can be a winner in the competition amongst global cities. There are some highlights in terms of this Tokyo Special Zone concept. Uh, promote deregulation in designated zone, invite more private corporations, uh, and promote various economic activities. Conventionally, Tokyo has had many regulations, be it healthcare, education, uh, called uh, the rock bed or a bedrock foundation uh, regulations. Uh, but uh, within this concept of special zones, the attempts have finally begun to do something about those very strict regulations. But this has just started. And uh, as our proposals and many others uh, proposals are um, approved, we are hoping that we're going to see changes take place. Toronamon Hills will be completed uh, next year. Let me talk about that. Here you can see the schematic view. Toronamon Hills to be completed in June of next year. MacArthur. Uh, Avenue, uh, which was designated back in 1946. And since 1946, uh, this road was never completed. And finally, we're going to see this big avenue uh, highway completed uh, with the completion of the building structure and the road. Uh, for the road, uh, the government has been trying to acquire the land necessary. And in this redevelopment project, we are going to have the building standing on top of the road. So uh, both aspects will finally be realized. For uh, Tokyo uh, to become a model of uh, city development in the future, we believe that this is going to be a landmark case. And this is the Toronto Moon Hills. This is the road uh, that is uh, b being built by the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. The Loop Road Number Two uh, is it, going to be Loop Number Two. And in 2020, uh, Tokyo will be hosting the Olympics. And on the lower right hand side, you can see uh, the uh, main. Uh, stadiums and a national stadium at the center. And this is going to be the street that will be connecting the two. And Toronamon Hills will be located right on top of the road. So by 2020, as the infrastructure gets completed, this is going to be a major part, major addition to the Tokyo infrastructure. 2020, we'll be hosting the Tokyo Olympics. Uh, in relation to the National Special Zone, which is jointly promoted by the national government and the private sector, there are many things being proposed. And uh, we're hoping uh, that uh, the special zones uh, will be the hub for um, new developments. And uh, it is against that backdrop that Tokyo 2020, uh, Tokyo Olympics 2020, have been decided. We believe that this is a great opportunity with Olympic Games alone uh, 
Uh, some people are worried that that's going to be just a one-time event, uh, that um, after the Olympics, uh, people's excitement will deflate. But in terms of the city development, uh, based on the foundation of a special zone development, uh, we are going to have uh, various functions added to make Tokyo the true global city. And uh, the Tokyo Olympics will serve as a goal toward which people can aspire. And that's the expectation that we have at Mori Buildings. And by year 2020, we really need to achieve what we have uh, set as our goals. If we fail, uh, that would be very bad. So we believe that this is truly a significant challenge for us. And with that, I'd like to conclude my very short presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.